All right, today we're gonna to be covering some exos for your beggar. Uh, this is gonna be a sweet little sweetheart if you got a nice little touring model. You're gonna be able to slap this on here and really carve out them corners. Shishi, ni hao mao. Gua tome le. Performance, touring model. Gua na ya. Ooh, ma kaiata. Hola, como esta? El exo, a por favormance. You know what, Derry? I'm trying to shoot a video on Axos. Okay, 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 Derry. Derry, okay, okay, Derry. Derry, okay. My new Axos had your mom so wet the other night they had to call in 24 armed National Guards just to build the dike around the bed to retain the water. Hey, it's Chase with another Legend Tech Tuesday. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the two plus axos for FL touring models in 41 and 49 millimeter. Um, these are gonna be a great option if you're looking at doing something like a performance bagger, as well as if you're looking to run something like a 14 inch rear shock. When you raise the back of that bike up, you're definitely gonna need the supporting modification to the front suspension. Otherwise, you're gonna be tipped down in the front and that's not gonna ride very well for you. So by adding something like this two plus front end, it is gonna require that you replace the fork tubes with longer than stock tubes. We have those part numbers listed on our website, as well as just about any shop's gonna be able to look those up for you as well. And these are really gonna help you in a lot of ways when it comes to less floorboard scraping, raising the overall height of the bike up in general so that you've got a better lean angle, and it's gonna still give you awesome axo and arc performance. So if you're looking to jack your bike up and get the absolute best performance out of it as possible, these are definitely gonna be the way to go. These are gonna sit taller than stock. We do have them for the 41 millimeter, and we also have them again for the 49s. So just about any FL with that stock fork tube that you're looking to raise up, you can pop these suckers in there along with the accompanying fork tube height and you can get yourself some 14 inch rear suspension and you can really take that bike to a whole nother performance level. This is just a basic overview of this product. We've got lots more information on our website and we do have internal technical videos on these as well. If anybody's interested in things like setting the preload or how the internals work, just visit www.legendsuspensions.com and we've got several videos there. Or again, you can check in with that local shop or shoot us an email if you have any questions. We're happy to talk you through your application and see what's gonna work best for you with your front or rear suspension. That's gonna cover it now. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions or again, shoot us an email and we'll get those answered for you. Be a legend and we'll see you on the next Tech Tuesday. El Axio a Por Favormance. Shishi, ni hao mao. Gua na tome lu. Por favormance. I said it again now, I got that word stuck in my head. Shishi, ni hao mao. Gua na tome lu. You can hear you laughing. Shishi, ni hao mao. Gua na tome lu. Axo. Por favormance. Let me do that one more time. You know what, Derek? <laughs> You're on performance deckers with your pals the other day. Boring model. You're gonna be able to slap this on here and really carve out them corners. Ah, uh, it's gonna be. <laughs> Ask anyone around the area. Axos are amazing, astonishing, outstanding, and A1 on all accounts.